up, pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci, he gon' take up whatever she want. She pissed me off, so I just Happy Easter Sunday! Happy Resurrection Sunday. I just left church service. It was super amazing. God is so good. All the time. And all the time what? Okay. Hello my loves. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics and I'm here with you guys today with a new weekly vlog. Today is Sunday, March the 31st. It is Resurrection Sunday. He is risen. It is the last day of March 2024. It is the last day of Q1 2024. It's a beautiful day for a beautiful day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't a coincidence that Resurrection Sunday is on March 31st this year. This day is super special, super important. And based on my church's theme for the day, it is an extraordinary day. It's not just any day, it's an extraordinary day. So, welcome you guys. If you guys are new, you have found your way to an amazing place on Beyonce's internet. My name is Kendra, aka Kinesthetic, and I upload content about anything that I'm interested in at the time. If you guys are returning, for my girls and my guys who are back at it again, thank you guys so much for clicking on yet again another video. Before we get started with this weekly vlog, before we get into the fun, the festivities, the looks, the, all of it, make sure you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel. We are growing and glowing, and I'm hoping and praying, okay? I told y'all, cross your fingers and manifest. That's how you lock it in, and it just hits a little different. You know what I'm saying? That I will be at 20K subscribers by the day of my 30th birthday. By the day of my 30th birthday, we're going to be at 20K, so let's make it happen, because we're going to make it happen. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, give this video a big thumbs up, and drop a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, I just got home from church. Church was absolutely amazing. I'll go ahead and insert some of the word of the day here so you guys can see. Well, that's the story of the concluding verses of Mark chapter 16 from verse 9 all the way to verse 20. Can I unpack that for just a minute? Because it seems to me that this sister and these brothers and then successively the disciples understand that when Jesus shows up in your situation, you do not have the right to remain silent. When Jesus shows up in your situation, you cannot keep that to yourself. When Jesus shows up in your situation, it doesn't matter who doesn't appreciate it or affirm it, you got to testify it was nobody but the Lord. Named Mary Magdalene, Mary from Magdala, and Mary from Magdala has a witness. Now watch this, her witness is not her net worth. Her witness is how much Jesus is worth to her. But I'm home now and I was going to go out to eat after church, but I was like, let me just come home and get myself in order, get my house in order. Girl, I need to, the tree, I don't think, she not coming to April. She not coming to April. Mm -mm. She not coming to April. So I have a few things to do around the house. So I was like, let me just come home and get stuff done. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I haven't really ate anything for the day. Well, I haven't ate anything for the day because my period came down yesterday and I'm like, great, my period decides to come down the day before Easter Sunday and the dress code for church today was all white. So I'm like, yeah, I was like, what a time to be a time. <laughs> what a time to be on a time. But either way, I didn't have an appetite this morning, so I didn't eat anything before church, but I'm about to make some chicken biscuits chicken biscuits chicken biscuits and enjoy that as i prepare myself to prepare my home for q2 but either way i'm excited i feel blessed i feel happy i feel refreshed rejuvenated all of the above whoa 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 want it all i won't leave a breadcrumb it's what i thought a nigga said something thought a nigga said something G block, all we know is red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum. G block, all we know is red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum. 
nigga, how we know it's riding in the back. It's a May, it's a May. Thirty two shots in the back. Hey y'all, uh, I was laying on the couch for like an hour and I got up to pee and I was like, let me just go ahead and put on the gym clothes so I can make it. This is gonna be my fifth workout of the week. So this is my third consecutive week of my five out of five of my workouts, meaning I went to the gym five times a week or worked out and moved my body five times a week. And my goal is to do it at least five times a week. So, <laughs> girl, that calls for me buying myself a little gift or something. But either way, I have a slight little confession. And I do not need the girls judging me because this is a judgment-free zone. This is a judgment-free YouTube channel. I don't think I've ever worn a tampon before. <laughs> like, I have never... I don't feel comfortable stuffing something up my coochie while it's gush and blood. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not a tampon girly. I am a pad girly. I'm a maxi pad, overnight, thick diaper booty type of girl. <laughs> but... I have to wear a tampon tomorrow because I'm getting my laser hair removal tomorrow. I have an appointment and my period came down yesterday. So I can't go on them people bed gushing out blood. So I need to wear a tampon while I get my service, right? But I don't know which tampon I should get. Like, I don't know which tampons are good. I don't know which tampons are comfortable. And then it's also like, I'm gonna have to buy a whole box of tampons to only use one. I guess I'll just have it in case this ever happens again. But I'm not casually just going to be stuffing something up my vagina. Like, <laughs> I feel like saying it sounds so wrong, but I, like, I know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? But either way, I got just to go to the gym. I don't feel comfortable going to the gym while I'm on my period with like tight clothes on. Like, I don't need everyone seeing that I'm diaper booty right now. And I also like just want to feel comfortable. I like wearing dark colors. So... This is what I put on. Oh, my mirror is real foggy. <laughs> but Nike Sports Bra. These, I think these are champion. Champion? 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 Champion pants. <laughs> I got these stuffed them for like a dollar or two. And then I'm just going to put on my pink Nike sneakers. So, quick little outfit for the gym. This is going to be a quick little workout. But I really just want to relax in the sauna after if i could but girl i'm just trying to look good for my 30th i'm just trying to look good for the summer the abs is coming in i don't know if y'all can see can y'all see yeah yeah mm -hmm. i see that yeah now we need to end up <laughs> i called the gym right because they didn't have any notice like oh we're open on easter day or oh these are the easter hours so i'm like damn they might be closed so if they're closed, I would just go for a walk in the park. But I called them and a girl answered and she was like, hey, what up, whatever, Jim? We closed at eight. How can I help you? <laughs> but it was just the fact that she had her script ready because I know that so many people were calling asking if they were open on Easter day because they didn't have like a notice out because usually like during the holidays or whatever holiday they'll be like oh these are the holiday hours if they're adjusted or just in general so people know they're at least open and they didn't have that for easter so people were just as confused as i was but i'm wearing these pink nike vapor max y'all running in these y'all gotta if you have these run with them on the treadmill these are so freaking good to run in like it literally feels like you're running on like a um a water bed <laughs> Have y'all ever been in a waterbed? I remember one of my friends when I was younger, she had a waterbed. No shade because that waterbed was comfortable as freak, okay? But it literally feels like you're running on a waterbed because it's like that squishy. That feels good to me. That feels real good. But let's go to the gym and get this body together. Okay, your girl is at Walmart. That's my puff cricket, but I'm about to go in here and buy tampons for the first time i'm about to call kim because i call kim for everything duh hey guys so i am back home i am in my study aka my home office and i'm about to go to work are y'all straight i went to the gym and i did a little workout i didn't want to stress my body out so much because you know it's that time of the month but i was able to get my five out of five so for three consecutive weeks, I have been to the gym, moved my body, worked out five times for three weeks.
So I'm proud of myself. I'm very, very proud of myself. But I'm about to sit here and plan my month of April because you have to plan in order to achieve success. So I have my annual planner that I got from Marshalls. And I'm just going to sit here and basically write down all of my obligations for the month of April, all of my goals for the month of April, uh, plan my content for the month of April. So I'm just going to sit here and do that. And I'm also going to edit my short form content for the week so I can have that ready. I am off of work tomorrow. I don't know if I told you guys in the last vlog, but I took Good Friday off and Easter Monday off. So tomorrow I'm going to focus on some home projects. And maybe I'll record like a video or two, maybe. So either way, I'm gonna do class. I'll let you guys watch. If you guys wanna see like how I prepare for the month, as far as like paying bills, X, Y, and Z, I will link one of those videos that I did up above so you guys can check that out. second laser hair removal session and i'm not ready okay i was so excited like oh my god i can't wait to my next one but i didn't know i was gonna be on my period for my next one like what but little walmart haul things i got from walmart yesterday i got these tampons because the i'm not gonna use tampons often like i'll only use tampons in a situation like this with uh -huh. Wait, let me check on my period is coming next month. <laughs> These had the least amount in the box. This one has 14 and the other ones had like 20, 25, 30. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I could have it for guests as well. I got these because I have to put a tampon in for homegirl to do her do on my coochie cooch. And then I got... So I have been going through my travel ones, like the individually packaged ones, when it's time for me to take off my makeup to go to the gym or just because. So I got these just to put in the house. So one for my bathroom, one for the guest bathroom. And that's it. So I'm about to get in the shower and wash up and shave up. I honestly, like I haven't grew much hair since my first laser. I haven't grew much hair since my first laser session. I've shaved my armpits once, which I shaved with you guys, and ever since I shaved that one time within a month, not much has grown back. And my bikini area, the top, I literally just have like one patch that grew back, and then the lips grew back, and then, I don't know if the back grew back, I have to check, but either way, I love it already. I love it here. I can't wait to continue. I can't wait to see what I look like after my six sessions, and then after 10 sessions and then a year from now like i cannot wait so i'll be back i'll be back hey guys good morning well i already started today with the vlog i am at sub laser i'm at sub laser i'm about to get my second round of laser hair removal on my armpits i'm a brazilian i put the tampon in i know y'all can't believe me that at my big age this is my first time ever wearing a tampon but even kim I told her I had to put a tampon in. She knows I usually don't wear tampons, but she never knew that I never wore a tampon before. Like, how do y'all do this? Tampon girlies tap in because how do y'all do this? Like, I feel like I can't... How do I say this in a appropriate way? I feel like I can't sit regular because I have something up my coochie. Like, 
and it's not what we want it to be you know what i'm saying so it's a little different but as soon as she's done with the laser session i'm going right in the bathroom and i'm popping back girl out and i have a pad on already because I, I wore a pad for backup yes i did but excited and nervous at the same time i feel like i was able to remove more hair shaving before i went in for my laser so just in case you guys don't know because i have been getting a lot of questions about people wanting to get laser people who currently either wax or shave and they're like i want to transition over to laser hair removal my best advice is to do it do it do it i had one session so far and literally like game changing life changing everything changing my hair has not grown back as thick it has not grown back as much and it's only one session so that's why i'm like i can't wait to see when we get to session five what am i gonna be looking like but before you go in you do have to remove your hair via shaving so I did shave my armpits. I didn't have much hair in my armpits as you guys saw. And also I had to shave my coochie. But I did a better job this time than before. So hopefully it doesn't hurt as much. Because when you have hairs left over. You can literally feel them burning off when the laser gets to it. Um, they did send me some forms that I had to fill out. I think it's just one form to just say I haven't been in the sun. I haven't been bleaching. I haven't been using retinol. Let me see. And I did get here early because it's 10.38 and my appointment is at 10.50. My name. Uh, skin is natural color. No sun. Remove spray tan. Oh, also, I couldn't put any deodorant on. Or I didn't put any body lotion on, period. Because I just feel like it's either I do the whole nine or I do nothing at all. Like, I don't feel comfortable putting on no deodorant but putting lotion on. Like, something about that just feels dirty. Sorry, my battery died. But I didn't put any lotion on my body or deodorant under my armpits. Or I didn't put my topicals ingrown serum on my topicals faded mist. Like, my whole body care routine didn't happen today. It also says that you're basically saying you're not taking any ampoule any antibiotics or blood thinning medications 14 days beforehand you aren't using any products that contain retinol benzoyl peroxide niacinamide aha seven days prior i didn't realize i was supposed to stop exfoliating seven days beforehand uh, does that apply to the coochie area or just for the face because they do facials too you may not receive chemical pills oh yeah i don't think that's for me but going forward i'm I'm not even gonna say it because <laughs> you may not receive chemical peels, Morpheus, microneedling four weeks prior to treatment. Please remove all makeup, deodorant, lotion, ointments for areas to be treated. Please arrive to your laser treatment clean and bare of any products. We recommend coming in loose, comfortable clothing to maximize your comfort and experience. Please shave 24 to 48 hours prior to your appointment. Do not wax, pluck, tweeze, thread, bleach, or use nair. I forgot about Nair. You may not have any type of laser treatment if you are or think you might be pregnant or nursing. <laughs> Definitely not. Please, notif please notify us if you have any medical conditions or history such as heart disease, thyroid, diabetes, cancer, skin disease, immunosuppressant disorders, or any other conditions that we may need to be aware of. Post-treatment. That's what I need to read. Immediately after the treatment, there may be redness, bumps, which may last up to 72 hours. It's normal for the treated area to feel like sunburn for a few hours. Allergic reactions such as swelling, itching, or hives are common. Oral or topical, such as hydrocortisone or Benadryl, Benadryl may be used. Sunblock is imperative. It must be applied several times. I guess that's what it is. Avoid sun exposure and tanning. No products to the treated areas except aloe, sunscreen, hydrocortisone for... 24 hours no shaving or exfoliating for 7 to 10 days do not use jacuzzi exercise sauna or hot showers 24 to 72 hours you may not receive facial treatments okay april 1st first of the month and we get in our we get in our coochies together somebody was just sitting in their car next to me just staring like you want to be in a vlog? <laughs> Do you want to be in a vlog? <laughs> These Laneige lip balms are done and I refuse to realize that they're done. Like literally see through. Transparence. Translucence. Let me see my other one. If it got a little something for me today. A little something, something. A little something, something. Okay. And I didn't even tell you guys, but I also packed my laptop because I want to go to like a coffee shop to edit two videos that I have in the stash. So I'm going to go do that 
after my laser but i have like a bag with my laptop and everything in it i'm bringing this inside with me because i don't play that i don't like leaving anything in my car i don't care where i am i don't care who i am nothing gets left behind because y'all not gonna rob me y'all not gonna steal from me mm -mm. so let me go ahead and walk over now to sev laser i go to sev laser here in uh river oaks in houston texas so if you guys are looking for a place to get laser done that is also safe for um, Woman of color, men of color, Sev Laser is safe for us. So come check it out. Get your Groupons. Hey guys, I'm in the bathroom. Damn. I'm gonna try. I don't have any leaks, any spillages. Okay. All right. I'm just scared when I have to spread my legs open. Is it gonna. <laughs> Imagine. Talking about butterfly your legs. Ooh. Butterfly had to lay a little egg. Okay. Okay. Three, two, and one. Two. Do you feel a pinch? No. Do you feel a pinch? A little bit more now, I'll yeah. Just go up one to ten. Like a three. Putting it up? No. Oh. Putting the air up. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. One to ten. Like a nine point five. <laughs> the ambulance out here what's going on what is tea but anyway child i completed my second session of laser hair removal this time it hurt a little bit more just because i feel like i had like little hairs that the razor couldn't get off because my hair isn't growing back as much or as fast or whatever the case is so even though i did shave those little itty bitty hairs they weren't able to come out so when she was lasering i literally felt them coming out armpits didn't hurt as mm, it didn't hurt at all it was just that i felt <laughs> like i broke out in a sweat as soon as i had to lift my armpit like as soon as she said first arm i feel like the perspiration just started perspirating and i didn't have deodorant on you know so either way it wasn't bad i will probably give this session my god 6.5 out of 10 i'm going back in she's at four to six weeks so I need to schedule my appointment. I found this coffee shop that I want to try. It's called Common Bond. And they have a location in Montrose. So I think I'm going to go check it out. Let me see if there's any other. Because my only fear is that I go there and they don't have outlets. Well, I did hear about this spot, Wild, Wild Cafe. I'll probably try this. I feel like this is more of my vibe and my steeds right now. Let me get the food. So let me put this in. Ooh, they have chicken wings. Okay. Oh, she a Florida baby. And she love it when the sun comes out. Sweetheart, but the dog comes out. Sometimes, sometimes. She gotta put herself in check. She don't take no disrespect. so i just wrapped up at wild cafe it was so cute in there i feel like this can definitely be like my go-to spot because it's not too far and the vibes in there are cool the food was good the coffee was good the aesthetics were cute and i feel like aesthetics just let me be more productive i don't know what it is it's a psychological thing but either way the only thing i will say about this cafe I think they do have two locations too in Houston, but it was a lot of gossiping going on. <laughs> um, like people don't just go in there to work. And I told you guys the last time that I need a happy medium between like productivity and like, you know, not so serious. But it was a lot of chit chat. I don't know if it was just today. I don't know if it's usually like that. 
But either way, I was able to edit a video and then like a quarter of another video. So I felt real productive in there. And now I'm going to head to Trader Joe's real quick before I head home. Because once I go in the house, that's it for the day. I'm not going to the gym today because after you get laser hair removal, you're not supposed to work out for, or you're not supposed to sweat profusely for, I think, 24 hours. So I won't be able to hit the gym today, but I will be there tomorrow. Okay? First day of the month, we're not working out. I feel really, really sad. But at first, I was I'm going to wake up and go to the gym before my appointment. Who was I kidding? <laughs> Sometimes you really just have to be realistic and honest with yourself because if not, it will really ruin your mood. It will really ruin your self-esteem and we don't need any of that happening. So what I do, I just remain honest with myself. Girl, you are not waking up early to go to nobody's gym before your 10.50 a.m. appointment on your day off. Like, it's not happening. So, yeah, I'll go to the gym tomorrow, but let's go to Trader Joe. She don't take no disrespect. You leaving got no effect. Hey guys, so I'm back home and I wanted to share something with you guys real quick before I forgot. So my homegirl Sarah just posted on her Instagram stories and she was basically saying how this is her last year. This is her last 30 days in her year of 30 of life. She's one year older than me and her birthday is actually one day after mine. Sarah and I have been friends since middle school, high school. And it's just so amazing, like, when you have those long-term friendships that just withstand the years. And, you know, people grow. And I feel like through the years, we have grown closer, like, closer in our friendship and closer in our beliefs in life and closer in our goals in life. And I love that for us. But either way, she posted on her Instagram stories, and she was basically saying that she's committing to 30 days of going on walks, 30 days of reading and 30 days of it was something else she said but either way that story inspired me and since this is my last 30 days before i turn 30 like my last full month before i turn 30 my birthday is may 6th in case you guys don't know i'm committing myself to 30 days of walks and i'm also committing myself to 30 days of posting on youtube shorts so I told you guys that I will be at 20K subscribers by my 30th birthday. We're speaking it into existence. And when it happens, I'm going to go ahead and put this clip in so y'all can know that manifestation is real. And I told you guys when you manifest, you got to cross your fingers and say it because it helps lock it in. It just hits a little bit different. But either way, yes. So I just got back home and I'm going to sort through my PR because I need to record my uh, short form content of like recent PR and I also want to dismantle my Christmas tree. I know some of y'all are about to be so hyped when this tree is down, honey. But honestly, it hasn't been bothering me. It's been sitting in the corner serving as a little home decor as I figure out what to do with that area. But I'm gonna go ahead and do those two tasks and then I'm gonna go for my walk before the sun sets. So this is a note to you. You guys are probably gonna see this video mid-April. Yeah, mid-April. I inspire you guys that y'all can start now. Y'all can start on May 1st. But try to commit to a full month of doing something that you've always wanted to do. Because I'm telling you guys, once you become consistent with something, it's not as like taunting to do it. It's not as like stressful to do it because it's just like a part of your routine, if that makes sense. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to sort through PR and I'm also going to sort through my like boxes of products because baby... <laughs> I need to, to downsize. I need to realize what I have, what I'm going to use, what I'm not going to use. And yeah, because I just have so many things.
uh, just came back from walk one of 30. It was very relaxing, but today's weather was absolutely beautiful, like around this time. So I walked, but I didn't walk too much because you guys know I'm not supposed to like purposely sweat today. So I didn't want to take it too far, but I checked my mailbox and I got two PR packages. So let's go ahead and open them up. So this first package is from L'Oreal. I think this is my first PR package from like L'Oreal, L'Oreal. I've received PR from L'Oreal brands, but not specifically L'Oreal. So they sent over this package. It says, did you know 100% of dark spots are intensified by the sun? L'Oreal's new bright reveal, broad spectrum 50 daily UV lotion. Revealed a new game changer to visibly fade dark spots. Y'all know I've been trying to do my thing with my dark spots. So this is the product. It's a sunscreen lotion, SPF 50. And it says that it reduces the appearance of dark spots. It blends with all skin tones, no white cast. It's lightweight, non-greasy, and a fluid texture, and it's suitable for sensitive skin. So thank you so much, L'Oreal. I can't wait to try this. I might actually start trying it tomorrow, so I'll keep y'all updated. And then I also got a package from House of Lashes. Y'all know I love me some House of Lashes, and they're always blessing me. So let's see what they sent over. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Unleash your inner... Feline? Link collection. Ooh, she is stunning. Uh, okay. Hold on, how so much shoes? So it came in this box for lean collection. And, ooh, hold on. This is super cute. Oh my God. These are beautiful. So this is Kitty Cat. This is like, um, a no lash type of lash style per period ooh tigress this might be my favorite this one right here y'all see that it's like wispy-ish and then they sent over a lash glue the dark one i've never tried their dark lash glue i usually try the white one and then a compact double mirror let me see what this is giving it has this nice thing up attention to details come on house of lashes let's see what this mirror looks like because i could use a new travel mirror like something to put in my purse oh very simple very cute love 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 so shout out to house of lashes i cannot wait to try this feline collection out and congrats on the launch I'm gonna go ahead and take my little content for Instagram now since I already put all my garbage out. Yeah, I had like four bags of grocery, uh, of groceries, of garbage. <laughs> so I'm happy that I'm getting rid of things, but I need to get in the habit of doing this more often and not letting things pile up, so. Good morning to you. The birds are chirping. Ka -ka. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, April the 2nd. The second day of April. The second day of April. <laughs> and I woke up this morning. I'm currently working, but I need to eat something because I am starving. Okay, I am starving. And I'm not sure why I feel so hungry because I literally had a whole sub for dinner last night i didn't show you guys but i ran back that sandwich and instead of me cutting the bread in half i ate the whole thing i know i know i know but i'm just gonna blame my period as the excuse as to why i'm eating like this but it's time for breakfast i'm gonna have a yogurt and then i'm also i hope i have milk. i forgot to buy oh yeah i have enough milk let me see if i have oats literally my last pack of oatmeal so i need to buy more but either way y'all my skin i don't know if y'all can see it let me move back so y'all can get the full picture <laughs> my skin looks the freak good can y'all make sure you guys check out my video reviewing the dermalogica power bright dark spot peel 
run up them views <laughs> and also it's an amazing product like my skin the glow everything about it i'm obsessed with so if you have dark spots if you have hyperpigmentation highly recommend checking out that video and seeing what the product did for me in just five days so yeah i'm gonna have breakfast and then we're going on a little adventure later today so i'll bring you guys along with me but yeah back to work eh, fun <laughs> you guys like taking time off of work is never enough time ever a week not enough i don't know maybe a maternity leave do i need to have a kid <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. I just recorded three pieces of short form content. Yeah. We have some things to talk about at the end of April, but as of right now, I'm updating you guys that I posted three pieces of short, well, not posted, recorded <laughs> three pieces of short form content. I did my makeup. So basically my updated makeup routine is basically the makeup routine that I tried in last week's vlog, the Uche base routine <laughs> but i recorded it in like a uh, short form content i recorded swatching new lippies that i received in pr and i also did a video of my outfit of the day which i think is real cute let me show y'all don't mind the mess in the back my tank top is from zara i showed you guys this tank top in my recent zara try why is it so dark in my recent okay in my recent zara try on haul there's a great tank top jeans are Zara, this was a collaboration that they did with this brand. I think it's pronounced Ad Error, Adira, but they're super fire. Sneakers are New Balance. This was a collaboration that they did with Salehi Benbury. These are so cute. They have a whistle in the back of the shoe. Super random, but I think these are so fire and comfy. And then my bag is this orange Yaito top knot bag. I thought I added like a pop of color to the outfit. And I'll probably just throw on some sunglasses. And this is basically my outfit of the day i am really excited about today's adventure because it's basically oh now me about to call a cop sonny <laughs> because it's basically something i've wanted to do for a while and i told you guys that we are crossing things off of our bucket list all spring and summer of 2024 so i'm happy that i finally found time to do this so i am about ready to go let me get my wallet and my car key I just pulled up. I didn't tell you guys, but I'm going to the Veil store. So I think it's pronounced Veil. Is either Veil or Vale? I think it's Veil. But either way, I have a cardigan from them that I purchased years ago. And I was just randomly, like, on Instagram. I think it came up as an ad. And basically, they have two stores in the U.S., one in Houston and one in New York. What's the odds? Not in New York, in Jersey. They have a store here in Houston on Westheimer. So I was like, let me come and see what they have. And I checked their stories. And there's this hoodie I've wanted. And they posted that they have a small and a medium. So I wrote them. I'm like, is it still available? They was like, yeah, pull up tomorrow. So what I did, I pulled up tomorrow. So that's where I'm going. But... I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, but I got some makeup on my contact lens. Y'all can see it here. Like, all up in my eye. It's not bothering my vision. Like, I really did my thing with my makeup today. No cap. But either way, it's not, like, impairing my vision. But you can see it, and it's disturbing me. So, I'm going to put these sunglasses on. These are from Louis Vuitton. I don't know if you guys remember, but I bought these when I went to St. Bart's last year. So these are a tea on my phone it's so beautiful outside today like so beautiful wind is blowing in my hair <sighs> sun is glistening on my skin oh i love it here you a bad girl and your bad too. so i'm here and he basically told me i didn't have the hoodie anymore but i did find these pants that i'm gonna try Yeah. Something else that 
It was a graphic tee. It was like green and white. Yeah, that's like really popular. A lot of people want that. You don't have it. Any? Okay, so when I see you on the store, you just come to the store that same day. Okay. The pants were too large, and that was the only size they had left. But he told me that they drop new things on Fridays, and they'll post it like on Thursday. So I just have to. Oh, let me follow them on Instagram, actually. But he was super nice. His name was Dustin. And um, I'm hoping I can get that hoodie because that hoodie is tea, honey. But the store is conveniently located, so I'm going to head over to Leopard Lounge. Y'all know I love Leopard Lounge. It's right here. Pavements and Petty Cash. All three of them are right here. So I'm going to stop in and see what I find. See what I find. I told y'all when you cross your fingers and manifest. It hits harder. It hits harder. I left the things that didn't fit hanging like okay I put everything on the hanging though. Are you check out? Yes I am. Yes, that is my that is gonna be my birthday jet. Really? Yeah. Oh, what's birthday? <laughs> May 6th. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, nice. Really? <laughs> Live your life. Right. And if right. anything doesn't feel right, it's not for you. That is <laughs> it. I spent so long stressing myself out over people who didn't give a fuck about me, so right. <laughs> um yes please. Dude, I love your nails. Those are like Easter. Or Thank you. Set. Um, these are like my first spring set. Oh, cute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Early birthday. <laughs> yes, you guys heard me correctly. I found my birthday dress. A whole month in advance. Who is she? Well, one of them. Because y'all know I'm turning 30. So I need to have like five different dresses for occasions. But I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. pavement now and I found some very cute dresses so we're gonna try them on and hopefully they fit. Um <laughs> gets that's my cute scum. I came to get a salad because I'm trying to be a healthy girl. I'm trying to be a healthy girl. I was looking at my stomach in the mirror like I could get it as flat as I wanted to get by my birthday. But I just got to eat right. Right? That's the hardest part. Eating right. So I'm about to go to Salada. Which is a salad spot here in Houston, Texas. I don't know if it's just in Houston. But I'm going to get a salad. I'm going to get a chicken salad.
Hey guys, so I just left out of TJ Maxx. I ended up getting two items. I'll show you guys when I get back in the house. Now, I kind of wanted to go to Walmart. And then I also needed to go to the mall. What time is it? Yeah, I could do both. I'm going to go to Walmart. And as soon as I go to Walmart, I'm running to the bathroom. Because I have to drizzle my nizzle. I'm just so happy that I found one of my birthday dresses. Like, that's when it's just like a stress reliever. But I'm about to reapply my lippy. So I'm wearing MAC chestnut lip liner. And then I'm wearing Amicole lip treatment oil. I forgot what shade this is. This is like the brown shade. So let me show y'all. And take my lip liner. And y'all, that salad, it was too mother freaking good. Too good. I tore that thing up. A sharpened lip liner hits so different. Like, you can see the precision of the line. And then this is the Ami Kole lip oil love this stuff if you've never tried it before definitely what day is this video going up this video is going up before the sephora sales over pick this up during the sephora sale so i love this one and i love bliss which is like the pink the nudie pink it's like a nudie brown oh my god it's so good and it's a black on brand at sephora so here's my updated lippy because when i ate it definitely came off. Let's see how far Walmart is. And my phone keeps overheating. I don't know what, what it's giving, but it needs to not give. I'm about to explode in your hand. Sunglasses are a full commitment because once you take them off, baby, you may not look the same. This is a song. I want y'all to sing this to me on my birthday. This song. Yeah, yeah. Celebrate life, celebrate life. Happy birthday, I'm a friend. One more year, find them. One more year, find them. Happy birthday, I'm your friend. One more year, find them. Never had a bitch like me and like me. He's touching a million poochie. Just left Walmart. I was able to use the bathroom. I ended up going to Walmart because I really wanted some Captain Crunch and I needed oatmeal, as I told you guys earlier. But I got these to try. So we're going to try them. These are the Bob Bobo's Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip Oat Bites. I always see these and I think Sasha told me to try these and I haven't tried them yet so they come like individually packaged so we're gonna try this I just feel like I needed a little sweet treat well they're kind of hard wait what <laughs> is this still I have no bev <laughs> um Okay, I have some water in my gym bottle. But this thing is sticking them on. I wouldn't buy this again. It's sick. Very, very good. Now, let's go to the mall. I'm gonna take a little sip, sip. Good morning, babes. Happy Wednesday. I want to know who, <laughs> who told me? schedule a 7 a.m. car service appointment it's currently 6 45 <laughs> and I just I'm not even finished getting myself together I will be lying to y'all but I'm getting myself together to leave the house I need to get a car well my um my Jeep dealership offered me a free car inspection I was supposed to go since I came back from New York so it's been a oops Oh, hold on hey guys i am back home but what i was saying is that my jeep dealership offered me a complimentary multi-point inspection so i just went and dropped stormy off at the doctor not really the doctor the babysitter because ain't nothing wrong with her but and i also had a recall on my car it was like a software recall so they're gonna check that out too but let me tell y'all <laughs> This is why people need to stop playing with me. Hold on. And yes, my Christmas tree is still up. <laughs> but basically, I just feel like my AC doesn't get as cold as it used to before. Like, it's just very mid. It's like, okay. like 
you know, you might sweat a little bit one day, you might not. And it's not hot, like as hot as it gets in Texas yet. It's probably like average high of 80, 85. So I'm like, I want to, you know, figure this out before it gets too hot because baby, when it gets hot in Texas, it gets hot in Texas. So I told the guy, I'm like, hey, do they inspect or do they look at my AC as a part of this? Because, you know, it's just not as cold as it used to be before. And he's like, oh, you could do the 240. And I'm thinking like, oh, this is a little DIY, like a trick that I don't know. Because y'all know when it comes to cars, I don't know much. I know how to drive the car. I know the basics, the basics of the basics. So when he said the 240, I'm like, damn, maybe this is a little car lingo that I just don't know. I'm just not hip to. So I'm like, oh, okay, what's that? He's like, you could pay the 240. And I said 240. He goes, yeah, the 240 to basically, I guess it's like 240 uh, base rate for the technicians at the dealership to like look at something. So I'm like, mm-mm, 240. I said the air could keep blowing how it's blowing. I'm just like, 240? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know these things. So Y'all gotta help me, right? Because it's like, it's 240 the average cost. Is that okay? Am I supposed to be paying that? And then I'm like, okay, after I pay the 240, God forbid, knock on wood. You know, something has to be fixed. Like, it's additional cost on top of the 240. So am I looking at 500 to fix my AC? Like, I don't know what the expectation is so let me know what you guys think i should do i also hit up my little car repair man i don't know if you guys remember when i had a little situation before i had this guy who had repaired my car and he was basically saying like that's not along his lines of work but he has a friend that could look into it so he provided me with his friend's contact info and his friend actually it looks like he owns like an auto repair shop so let me know would it be cheaper if i go there would it be better if i go there should i do it through my dealership comment and let me know because y'all know when it comes to cars i'm not the best but either way stormy should be ready around noon so they ended up sending me back home in an uber and i'm like perfect because i thought i was gonna have to sit there and wait for her so yeah but that is what is going on i'm so exhausted i didn't go to bed until like 1 2 a.m and i woke up at 6 so i only got like four hours of sleep so i low-key was thinking about laying here and taking a nap y'all know how i feel about my couch naps but <sighs> so much to get done always so much to get done also ah, i woke up this morning to 19,000 subscribers, 19,000 family members, 19,000 like supporters, 19,000 sisters and brothers, 19,000 friends. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you so much to everyone who has found their way to my YouTube channel, who has been supporting me, whether it be for one day or for five years as long as i've been on youtube thank you guys so 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 much thank you guys so so much i'm just so happy that you have found your way to an amazing safe non-judgmental free-flowing transparent space on this internet full of so many different things but the fact that we are growing and glowing i'm absolutely amazed i'm absolutely shocked and you know Hard work pays off, consistency pays off. So I'm happy every time I hit a milestone, whether it be 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 5K, 10K, 15K, about to be 20K. So thank you guys so much. But let's get to 20K by my 30th beat day. We gonna do it, we gonna do it, we gonna do it. I just feel like we gonna do it. So thank you guys so, so much. I couldn't... You know, I couldn't let today go by without the same. And I woke up this morning, I said 19,000. <gasps> I said 19,000. Yes, God said 19,000. And I sat on that. But that is what's going on. I'm about to sit here and edit real quick before I start to work for the day. Look at the skin, y'all. Like, excuse me, I'm telling you guys. Make sure y'all go check out that Dermalogica video because the skin, like, if you've been tuned in, you know that this is different than my skin from two vlogs ago. So, 
I ain't gonna tell you I was doing child money, but I have 15 minutes to do my makeup <laughs> because I have an exciting Zoom call. So we're gonna beat this face real quick together. I'm gonna use my milk primer. I literally have not touched my hydro grip since I got this primer. I'm obsessed because it's so good. Why is that? Why is that? YSL Beauty has sent over these concealers. This is their Touche Eclat Radiant Touch Concealers in the shade 6.5 and 5.5. I think 6.5 was like my shade. The product has like a push up situation. I'm gonna. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do it. Okay. Again. Um, I'm gonna use my <laughs> Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer, 35N. Oh no, you know what I should use? I wanted to show something to y'all. Take three. I'm using this Sephora Best Skin Ever Glow Concealer in the shade 55. I bought this, well, I ordered this when I was in New York, and I showed it to you guys in a haul in a vlog, and I still haven't tried it. So I'm like, I owe my people them a review. Like, I need to tell them what's tea, especially before the Sephora sale ends. You know what I'm saying? Leg in the air like I'm doing bad leg. Parking these niggas, I'm doing bad leg. So this is the wand. It's way, like, skinnier than the original best skin ever. Um, I'm just gonna kind of put this here. This is like my skin tone, but I definitely see like the glowing aspect of it. I honestly don't even know what I'm going for. I just wanted to cover these under eyes and my dark. Oh, I know what I'll do. My dark spots. Juvia's Place Cola Lip Liner. Cola Lip Liner Juvia's Place Lip Gloss. Y'all this? We may have a new favorite law list on the block. This is Rosy Outlook. This is just like the perfect like clear. Like look at this. Y'all know I love me a thick dobbler applicator. Like look, 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 look. Oh, bruh, so glossy. Uh, uh. I'm so happy I did that swatch video. If y'all didn't see it, I'll link it up above. Brows. Let me put some brows on real quick. Okay, I have two minutes into my meeting. Here's how the makeup came out. In here. I put on this. Hellcast SRT is gonna pull up on me. Whoa, whoa. But I just put on this tank top and this cardigan. So I'm not like too naked. And I'm gonna put on a fragrance Nest Turkish Rose Perfume Oil. Love this stuff so much. Not me about to be on time, but I will check in with y'all after my meeting. Wish me luck, even though you guys have seen this after, but yeah.
next day. It is Thursday, April the 4th. And I'm getting ready now to go pick my car up. I don't know if I updated you guys yesterday that I had to leave Stormy at the dealership overnight. Because they had called me and they were like, boom, 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 boom. These are the things we found from the inspection. Do you want to pay for us to fix it? It was like, I wasn't ready to spend that much money right now. I'm just not. So basically, I was like, nah, y'all don't have to fix any of that stuff. It's not like too crazy. You know, the only thing that I was like, okay, maybe I'll get this fixed soon, but not right now, is a wheel alignment. So they, but they wanted like 150 cash for a wheel alignment. So I'm like, I feel like it'd be that's expensive at like, you know, the little um, car shops. But either way. $150 for wheel alignment is kind of crazy. But I was like, okay, you know, AC. <laughs> AC. <laughs> and not the 240. <laughs> AC. What's going on with the AC? So he's like, oh, matter of fact, you're still covered under bumper to bumper. So we should be able to like run a um, diagnosis to see like what's going on with the AC. So I was like, okay, cool. He's like, the only thing is it takes some time. So you won't be able to get your car back until tomorrow. So I'm like, okay, cool. I don't have any, I didn't have anything planned to do yesterday besides go to the gym. And I ended up going for a walk and doing like a home workout. So it wasn't like too bad. And also I felt like, I just felt like I just needed to be still yesterday. Like, I don't know what about it, but something. God was just like, girl, I don't keep that car. And just stay home. So that's what I did. So today, I was like, I have a whole agenda for today, right? Well, I didn't been do that. <laughs> I have a video going up for you guys today. My full face is Sephora collection that will be going live today. I have, um, like, you know, work, work. <laughs> and I need to go to the gym. So it's a lot to get done today. So yesterday, I'm like, it's cool if I just, like, do nothing, you know? Sometimes you just have to do nothing. And I keep saying this, but I keep saying it because I really want you guys to understand what I'm saying. Like, sometimes it's okay to do nothing. Like, you don't always have to be ripping and running. So, I hope somebody received that message. I just called my Uber to bring me over there. They do provide transportation, so that's always lit. I'm going to go ahead and pick my baby up now from the babysitters because it wasn't the doctors, it was the babysitters. And I'll let you guys know what they say. Hopefully my AC is fixed because let me see the weather. Ooh. The weather. Girl, it's going to be 86 degrees tomorrow. Please, God. Please, God. <laughs> let them have been able to fix my AC. And I didn't want to ask because I'm not about to be there anyway. And I feel like they will give me a better explanation in person than over the phone. So, yeah, if y'all sitting here like, girl, why didn't you ask before you left the house? That's why. If they can't fix it or whatever the case is. I need my car anyway. So oh. this is saying going this way, right? Yeah. Okay. But so you know, sure. men always forget everything. So I know they do. Women That's are different than men. Yes, I know. One hundred and fifty. Oh, right. Percent. It doesn't even need to be proven. Yes. And I, I swear to you, I've told like my best friend so many times. I was like, girl, literally, men could not survive by themselves on this planet and that is a women, fact women can okay tenfold right i said okay god i see what you did period I, look they all say god don't make mistakes <laughs> he never well, does let me tell you i didn't say he made mistakes but he added to the addition from <laughs> to eve okay but, <laughs> you know he created something better let's just say that okay yeah i think the problem is Many of them mamas done mama them too. Much. Yes. That's the problem. And that reflects in so many different like you ways know, of you, their life. It's a boy, you gotta bring them up to be a little bit stronger. Right. You know? Like raise a man, not a boy. Yeah. I mean I get, you know, show them love. I get that. Yeah. But dang man. Yeah, no. No, they, mm -mm. That, they say mama's boy for a reason. You know what I'm saying? When have they ever said a mama's girl? Never. Yeah. <laughs> Ever? It's always daddy's girl. Yeah. And those are the girls who yeah. are strong as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that's for real, because that's me. That's me too. Yeah.
Oh. Hey y'all, we back in Stormy. <laughs> and y'all, I was like, when I pulled up, well, I was standing there for like 20, 15 minutes and then he pulled up. I'm like, please tell me you have good news for me. Cause I'm thinking about it like, damn, this hot ass car, 100 degree weather, it's not giving that. He was like, no. And then he was like, oh, let me, let me go get like the keys and the paperwork. So I'm like, okay, cool. So he came back and he's like, I'm like, is the AC fixed? Cause y'all know, I'm just like AC, AC, AC. He's like, um, the text said he didn't see anything wrong with the AC, but the, um, I don't know if I told you guys, I had a recall. It was like for a software update or something. I don't know y'all, but basically he was saying that that may have fixed the problem. I get in my car, I turn it on, and baby, my nipples are getting hard, okay? The AC is working. This is the AC that I need, and it's only on two, and my nipples is, 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 uh, is rock hard. This is the, hold on. This is the AC that I know in Stormy. This is the AC I know in Stormy, and, and he ran my car through the car wash. <laughs> I'm like, it was so embarrassing, y'all. I had all types of bird poop, bird doo-doo, bird caca, on my windshield and I was like oh once I get my car back I'm gonna go get a car wash because the car wash that I like going to it's not necessarily near my home so I'm like oh my god he's like yeah it's okay whenever we have time we try to do I'm like okay cool not you trying to get your five stars because you're gonna get your five stars okay but either way I'm just so happy to have my baby back and the AC is bumping and jumping and doing what it gotta do I'm so hyped you guys <laughs> thank you guys Period, but let me drive home. Okay, so this is 212 Dental Care. We're offering you a $600 laser teeth whitening for free. Okay. It's just a great way for us to promote our dental office, which is located at Town Manhattan. Okay. Who do is... you work at me, correct? No. I do apologize. Do you live Where do these people be getting my number from? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Hi, Eva. Who's Eva? Who is Eva? Because I know one Eva, America's Next Top Model, and that's not me. <laughs> so I'm just like, where do y'all be finding my number from? Like, I really just want to know how my number gets around because I really don't use my work phone. Like, <laughs> y'all, it is time to do the unthinkable. Do I find it so hard to letting you down every day? So I just reached, oh my God, let me tell y'all something. I don't know what it is, but when I am driving, I'm in deep thought. Like I am thinking about things I have to do, thinking about like just things that happen. Hi, oh, this Jeep is cute. But why did I realize that? Let me, let me call Kim for this one. Cause she gonna be like, girl, what? Girl. What you singing? Beyonce. What's Sing up? to me. No. Sing to me. Sing to me. Why did I just realize that when I went to go get my laser the other day that I didn't use the numbing cream, the numbing spray? Oh, so how was it? I mean, it hurt a little bit more, but it wasn't like crazy. I don't think I need to crank it up. But I was just thinking about it like, wait, I didn't use a numbing spray i didn't even think to ask you yeah because i didn't have enough time to shave hi how are you i'm good how are you i'm doing well um i'm just browsing for now i have placed an in-store pickup order that's a four recommendation oh yeah that's what i was like what's your name Tawana. Tawana, nice to meet you. Yes. I'm in YouTube, kind of. Okay, no, um, girl, you're in there. I'm chilling. So I'm trying to get back into Yeah, I love yeah, that. I What's your channel? You. I'll subscribe to your channel. So you like the pink or the gray button? I kind of like the gray, too. But the pink is a T as well.
We got the goods. I got all four of the fragrances. And I cannot wait to try them. Ah, I want to do everything on camera. I didn't smell any samples in the store. I'm just like, I want to independently do it for my review video. But I met one of my subscribers in um, Sephora. Her name was Tawana. Hey, girl, hey. And um, she was absolutely beautiful. And she looked pretty good. Yeah. I love when I see y'all in person. Y'all say hi. Because don't be shy. I don't bite. <laughs> but I'm about to go home now. I need to um actually... Let me see if I could do it on my phone. I have a video. Oh, my God. Something is flying. Something is flying in here. Get out. Get out. Shoot. My biggest fear is that... I'm driving and like something is flying because I don't do bugs. I don't. I don't know if I need some citronelle for the car or what, but this ain't that. This ain't that. Save it for David. Save it for David. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever came across one of Tyrone's videos, Tyrone B. He's from Harlem. He's best friends with um, Tiana Taylor, but his videos are hilarious. Like I'll lay down and scroll through his page if I need a good laugh. But he'd be like, uh-uh, this ain't that. Save it for David. <laughs> Let me show y'all. It was one video he was talking about. Don't bring me nowhere where you feel like you have to prep me to be around people. I'm so happy I got my order. And they were so nice in the Sephora. I love the Sephora. This is the Sephora. Um, oh my God, y'all was going to tell me I had cotton mouth. Oh, okay. But I love the Sephora location. This is the one in Sawyer Heights, I think it's called. Oh, what is messages for? However, this ain't that. This ain't that. So if you feel like you gotta prep me before you invite me somewhere, save it for David. Don't invite me. No shade. If you gotta prep me and be like, hey, look who's coming. Da -da -da. Keep it. I'm not coming. I'm not coming. Because yeah, I'm gonna pay it at first. But I get a little cocky, <laughs> I'm up in it. So, pick your poison. You want them to go or you want me to go? It's no, oh, I just need you to be cool. I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who you want, bitch? Because I'm not going. Because once I get my little drink, bitch, I'm fucking everybody up at the table. So, man, don't invite me. I'm not keeping up. No, bitch, don't like me. I don't know Yo. who this man That video so has been screaming. Because it's saying. Saying, I mean, I just feel like I'm a very verbal person. So, like, low-key, don't invite me anywhere where I can't speak freely or I can't speak my mind. That's my biggest thing. I don't really care. Like, y'all know me. I'm not a problematic person at all. Like, at all. At all. At all. I could be sitting next to somebody that I done fought before. And... It's nothing like I feel like I'm in such a forgiving space in my life too like there was this girl or there's this girl that I was best friends with in high school and her and I literally almost fought our senior year and you know years went by no contact with her no contact with her but we have so many mutual friends because she's from Harlem I'm from the Bronx like, either way, I feel like in New York period, you're going to have mutual friends with people, like, in real life, not just on social media, like, real life mutual friends. We went to the same high school. Our high school was 95% females. So, like, through life, we've always had mutuals. And she's doing her thing out here now. I'm not going to say what she do because y'all probably going to put two and two together. But she's doing her thing out here now and i respect her hustle and i like her work so i i have followed her on instagram and she followed me back and we comment on each other's stuff we never had a discussion that's one thing that i want to do better with it's like not sweeping things under the rug and actually like like addressing things but i've never been in a place for her to do that like it's not like you know i invited her out to dinner or something like that but just knowing like where people stand because you could comment all the hard eyes you want but that don't mean you like me. you know what i'm saying and not just her but anybody like if you have an issue with them i want to practice more of like resolving the issue rather than just sweeping it under the rug because i feel like that's what 
we as people have a tendency of doing and I, I hate, I don't wanna say I hate, I strongly dislike that. <laughs> I just finished, well I didn't just finish, but I finished recording my video, I was on the phone, and now I'm about to head out to run errands. Okay, so I just threw on a little um, outfit, this unitard from Forever 21, the girls is looking snatch, no man, and this cardigan from, where is this from? This is from thrifting, I just, listen, I want to be cozy, I'm going and I'm coming right back. But I'm gonna put on this fragrance. This is I'm Her from Forever Mode. If you guys didn't see that review already, make sure you guys go check it out. I'm gonna actually upload that video tomorrow, first day of the Sephora sale. So. Smells so good. Mm -hmm. Girl, I'm wearing all my fragrances to Trader Joe's because listen, the amount of fragrances I have, mod madness. I'm badness combination. Ooh. Ooh, I got that shit on. Walk away video. Ass fat hair on. <laughs> JT said. Ooh, I got that shit on. Walk away video. Ass fat hair on. I finished recording my video and I'm about to head to the trivia. Outfit of the day is this onesie from Forever 21. And then I throw on my hair on pressed on denim jacket, sneakers, duh, my Vimeros. Oh my God, I just found these in gold and white and I ordered them. So I'm waiting for them to come. But I'm wearing my white and silver Vimeros, accessories. I'm wearing these chrome heart sunglasses. These glasses are cute, but they're just super wide. And then they have their chrome heart detail here. I can't find my chrome heart ring. I haven't been able to find it since I went to London. In August, it's something about it. It's just telling me, girl, the ring ain't here. The ring gone. But I still have faith. And then... I'm just wearing my black Prada bag. And I'm leaving the crossbody strap because I don't know how I'm going to want to wear it. But this is my little outfit to go run errands. I should record a TikTok, right? I think I record a TikTok. We need a wata, wata, wata. This traffic, <laughs> I really don't know what's the call. Like, if there's something going on, like construction, an accident, traffic makes sense. But when cars are just instructed and able to move in a forward direction with no disruptions, that's when the traffic boggles my mind. Like, why was there traffic again? Why we were sitting here for so long again? Like, <sighs> but either way, child, I use a new blush today, and I feel like y'all can see it in this lighting real good. It's the Tower Twenty Eight blush in the shade. I think the shade is called Beach Please. I think if I'm wrong, I will put it on the screen. But um, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. But this blush is so beautiful, and this was my first time using a, like, potted blush correctly. Because I've used it before, but I didn't know what I was doing. So it just gave, like, harsh. But the brush that I use it with, chef's kiss. So, yeah, new blush. New blush alert. New blush in rotation. All that, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that. Trader Joe's had better have everything that I need for the, the travel time everything that i need everything oh these are new lashes too these are tigers from house of lashes i showed you guys me unboxing this package i think in this vlog if i'm not mistaken i don't know how i feel about them i miss my iconic lights because i feel like it gave more of like a um full bra all right i'll be back Always with the nosy part. Always. 
I'm not sure why, but I have currently been obsessed with this cereal. Not even with the berries, just the plain and they're on sale two for nine at Target. I've been meaning to try these for longer. I have to try these for one of these. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm finally learning the worm dance. Oh, oh my God. I neglected you guys so bad. I'm looking at my teeth like, girl, what did you eat? What I ate was these. So good. I recorded a video for TikTok, like short form content. So I'll see if I can put it in here. But either way, they were good. I didn't get the Hershey's ones because, girl, them things was $2.50. And I'm like, I'm not really a regular Hershey's type of girl. Like, if they do a Hershey's cookie and cream, oh, baby, count me in. No questions, thoughts, anything. Swipe card, add to cart. I'm going to take it all, the whole box, okay? Because you can't mess up Hershey's cookies and cream. But the regular Hershey's, I've never been a fan. So I'm like, if I pay $2.50 for this and it's trash, I'm going to be tight. And I knew I was about to be tight, so I just left it at the register. But either way, I'm about to go on H-E-B now. All right, what do I need in here so I could be fast? I'm going to see if they have red pepper hummus so that I don't have to go to Whole Foods. I'm going to see if they have the turkey meat that I like and mayonnaise. And I think that's it. happy friday my loves happy friday today is friday april the 5th Ooh. and today is also the first day of the sephora spring savings event for rouge members you guys my day has been off to a very interesting start let, let me sit down so we can chat so I'll talk to y'all as I do this today is the first day of the sephora sale y'all should already know I placed my fork my first my first order that's really at 11.01 central time and um i spent basically what i wanted to allocate as my whole budget so i have to tread real lightly with future purchases i have made the executive decision that i'm returning these Forever Mood Fragrances. I did my review and I basically told you guys that they don't really last. I love the scents of them, but they don't last. And I can't. Let me tell y'all what happened this morning real quick. Very quickly, very quickly. So long story short, I forgot that today was Friday for some reason. Don't ask me how. I'm just going to put on this Kaja lip oil. And I'm working, working, working. And I realized, oh crap, it's Friday and I didn't put my garbage outside. So I go to put my garbage outside and I peep that Public Works is basically in front of my house fixing like a meter or something. Like some type of maintenance situation. So I see them doing their thing. They don't say nothing to me. I don't say nothing to them. So I put my garbage by the street. I go back inside my garage. I'm like, let me turn my sprinkler on as i'm here so i cut my sprinkler on and i hear somebody saying like hey but i'm thinking like damn did i turn the, the front sprinkler on and they're getting wet like i didn't know what i did like i was just rushing back inside the house to finish working so i turn around and one of the workers he's like hey and he said something but i have my ear pot in just like this because i was on the phone with him and he's like, hey, do you mind if I go in your house to use the bathroom? <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, maybe I ain't hear the right thing. Like, I'm still kind of tired. I have my ear pot in. Maybe it's, it's altering what I'm hearing, right? So he's like, like, he's serious. He's like, do you mind if I go in your house to use the bathroom? And I'm thinking, like, why the hell would I allow a stranger to come in my house to use the bathroom? Like, what, what's really going on? Like, why would you even ask me this? So, he's like, like, he's pointing to the side of my house, right? So, he's basically asking me, do I mind? And he said something along the lines of, like, 
I didn't want to disrespect your house. So kind of like I'm asking you. So it's not disrespectful if slash when I do it. So in my head, I'm like, one, you're asking me to basically go pee on the side of my house. Absolutely. The freak. Not. Like, you're basically asking if it's okay to be disrespectful. And this is a problem with men. Okay? This is a problem with men. Men know what's disrespectful. Okay? They know when they say certain things, when they do certain things, it's disrespectful. Right? But in some world, in I don't know what it is in the head. I don't know what cognitive levels they be on. But they think it's okay to still say it or still do it or still ask it in this case. And I'm just like, you just sat here and told me to my face, hey, I know this is disrespectful, but I'm going to still ask you if I could do it. I said no. And I came right back inside my house. But I was on the phone with Kim and Kim was like, wait, what's going on? And I'm like, girl, I was trying to so I could tell you. Because this man, this man has your sister all the way messed up like all the way messed up so yeah i was just like yeah yeah starting my friday off with the bang <laughs> and i've just been busy working i've been busy giving y'all videos y'all see i came through this week and i'm gonna tell you guys this now because i don't want to ever not be honest or transparent with you guys the so for a sale content, it may seem like a lot, okay? If you're not shopping the sale, you're avoiding the sale, you're just simply not interested in the sale, it may be a lot for you guys. Well, you guys are going to see this vlog after the fact, but I'm, I'm on pause for now, okay? I'm going to give you guys some different types of content because I did my recommendations video. I did a full face of Sephora. I did a... Um, the review of Jackie Anna's fragrances, which are all in like the beauty space, but I know everybody here isn't interested in beauty. So I'm gonna have my Sunday vlog, which you guys should see on April 7th, the Sunday before this vlog. And then I do wanna do, it's not related to the sale, but it may still come off as being related to the sale. I wanna do like spring fragrances. I go through my fragrance collection and tell you guys like, what's new for spring and what do I recommend for spring? So I may still do that, but I would still wanna do it during the time of the sale. So if you do choose to pick up any of the fragrances, you can shop it during the sale. But I'm going to offset it with other types of content so it doesn't seem like an overkill. But the reason why I did more content geared towards the sale this year is because I'm a part of an affiliate program. It's called Magic Links. So usually in my description box when I link things, it's a Magic Link. So it's an affiliate platform where if you guys shop through those links your girl makes a little coin. So if you haven't shopped the sale yet, if you plan on shopping the sale, make sure you guys click on at least one of my links so that I can get the credit for however much you purchase during the sale. I'm not, I'm not able to see y'all information or anything. It just like shows me the um, amount that I earned from the transaction. But either way, they offered a bonus opportunity this year during the sale. This is the first time that I've seen that they've done this. And it's basically like if you earn a certain amount of commission during the sale, you get like an additional reward. So that is why I was like, let me give you guys a little bit more content just so that I can come out and more like searches for the sale as people, you know, review YouTube videos. Like, what should I buy? What should I use? How does this work? I was just like, let me put myself out there a little bit more so that I can hopefully reap the benefits more from this opportunity. So that's what's going on there i told you guys we hit 19k subscribers thank you guys so much again what else i'm trying to think of like a recap of the week i didn't really do anything besides work honestly this week so i honestly don't even remember what's going to be included in this vlog but if we didn't really do much in this vlog next week the next vlog it's gonna be a big thing it's gonna be a big thing because i have something very exciting possibly in the works so if it does come through god willing god bless god if you see it fit for me please allow it to happen if it's not meant for me it's not meant for me period so if that happens next week i'll bring you guys along so you guys will see that next in the next vlog if it does end up being a thing so that's what's going on i'm gonna go finish working i'm gonna go to the gym later today and I'm not sure what else I'll do today. I'll probably write for Tima 
and just see like you know she wants to hang out this weekend ramadan is over at the top of next week so i know she's like prepping for eating stuff but i just like catching up with her on the weekends because we both work and you know it's always nice to have a little bit of girl time so i'll probably see what she's doing and i think that's it i usually reach out to des but des is in here my sister's on vacation living her best life so i won't be able to see her this weekend but yeah that's what's going on i'll see you guys in a few i'm gonna pick up my room a little bit because as you guys can see it is a mess like i can't even see like let me show you yeah also to add to the friday shenanigans there was an earthquake in the tri-state area this morning so i'm praying that all of my supporters who are located in affected areas are okay i'm telling you guys this now and i i don't think i've ever been more serious saying this make sure you are prayed up because between everything going on in the world right now, I don't know what's going on. None of us know what's going on. Only God knows what's going on. And it's important to make sure you are praying. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. But either way, I need a coffee because I need to start editing this vlog and I'm exhausted. Like my eyes are weighing down and y'all know I'm always here for a couch nap, but it's not time for that. It's time to be productive. It's time to get things done. I don't know what it is, but I just have like this kick in me. And I feel like this usually happen happens every April where I'm just like, let's get ourselves together. Let's lock in. April is always a great month for me when it comes to productivity. So yeah, I just have the fuel to keep going. And as I'm in this mode, I'm going to take full advantage, you know? So I'm gonna make a coffee. Nothing hits like a coffee made at home. Like everything I try out the house, I always compare it to my coffees that I make at home. But I usually don't like making coffee at home because if the stuff is in the fridge, I'm gonna keep having a coffee. But I told myself, I made a vow to myself that I am only going to drink coffee when I am really, really tired. Like it's not an every morning type of thing. That's the thing. You think you gotta have an iced coffee every morning you don't and that's the problem okay reserve it for times when you are tired when you need it when you need a huge pick me up not a little pick me up but a huge pick me up guys are you guys okay from the earthquake oh did you see my message yeah that's why i'm calling you because it was another oh, earthquake oh, yeah tell me the full recap and don't miss no detail <laughs> Where were you? What did you hold on to? Like, what's the full story? And I just felt like you know, the little vibration. I feel the ocean. Yeah. Then I looked outside and it kind of looked like a little weird. But I it was quick. Oh, it was quick. The mom was like, this is airplane in the sky. I mean, does it impact them? Because it's the ground shaking. Oh. And, but I don't, I would keep going to say, you don't know if it's the aftershock. But I was like, I don't know if aftershock happens all these hours later. Mm. that's eight hours later but i don't know yeah damn i wish i paid attention to earth science <laughs> <laughs> say hi to the vlog y'all hi the girls <laughs> <laughs> hey guys so i went to the gym came back home showered and i did my face mask tonight this is the face mask that i use this dermalogica how bright dark spot pew if you guys didn't see my full video on this make sure y'all go watch it i'll link it down below but this mask has literally been transforming my skin i'm sure you guys are gonna see the difference as you guys tune into each of my weekly vlogs so yeah i did a whole review on it i'm telling y'all right now y'all need to get it follow the instructions and we're going to get our skin together for the summertime, okay? She's pricey, 
but Ulta has been having like 20% off. So right now it's only available at Ulta. I'm not sure if it's gonna be added to Sephora, but as of right now, it's only at Ulta. And then I put on my eye mask, but I'm about to rinse it off now. So let's go ahead and... Ooh. I heard that these eye masks are reusable. I'm not sure if I would necessarily reuse them, but I'm just like, it's not marketed as reusable. So what y'all saying is reusable for? using eye masks again i don't know about that but these masks definitely help with the eyes my 30th birthday i really just want to be like snatched and when i say snatched not just physically i want to be smacked i want to be snatched mentally emotionally spiritually everything about me i just wanted to be in a good place where i felt comfortable entering essentially a new era of my life so i've been doing what i gotta do to do what i gotta do boo boo <laughs> but i'm gonna rinse this mask off and go to bed and i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm definitely gonna close out this vlog tomorrow morning i just don't have the energy to do it right now so i'll see y'all in the morning i need y'all to see this so i just rinsed my mask off and it's time to use my moisturizer y'all look i literally need my sephora order right now but in the spirit of product empties i guess i'll share my recent product empties with you guys so i can finally get rid of them so first one is this body exfoliator from dove this is the crushed almond and mango butter exfoliator this stuff right here smells so good like it smells like a mango smoothie but it's absolutely perfect especially for like the spring summer time so i've had this for a while and i finally finished it Y'all, this stuff smells so good. I love Dove's exfoliating body polishes because the beads in them are so small that it doesn't feel like abrasive or anything while you're working it into your skin. And then also, this moisturizer. So, the words of this moisturizer, they peeled off, okay? Polish Choice, y'all need to do something about this because, baby. But this is the Polish Choice Extra Barrier Repair Moisturizer with Ceramides so good if you're trying to repair your skin barrier highly recommend highly recommend this moisturizer but it is my girl i'm gonna stand beside her each and every time i'm gonna go to war for her don't play about her this is my girl this is my girl but that is it i thought i had another product but it's not done done yet so current product empties Hey loves, it is the next day, the next morning, and I'm back on camera to end this vlog. But it's for good reason because I am about to attempt to do another vlog, which you guys should see before this one. Fingers crossed. Manifesting, knocking in. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. If you did, comment down below with red emoji so I know who my girls and who my boys who made it all the way until the end of this video are comment with red emojis leave a ladybug leave a red heart leave whatever emojis red the fire truck whatever's red leave it down below in the comments make sure you guys subscribe also comment and let me know your favorite part of this weekly vlog i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next one